friends, I am Professor Mahindra Gaikwad, JSP Mary Technical Campus, Department of Mechanical Engineering. So today I am going to explain the experiment related to the dynamic of machinery subject. So here is uh, one of the experiment we are going to perform that is nothing but balancing of wheel or a rotor with the use of a computerized balancing machine. Okay, if you observe this machine, it's a computerized balancing machine. So Coming to the construction part of this machine, you can observe here is the screen which is computerized balance and here is the machine which is operated with this small keyboard which you can operate all the parameter inside the monitor. So here the balancing wheel is attached. Okay. So balancing, what is balancing and what is the need of balancing? First we will understand what is that. Okay. So coming back, uh, in the case of four wheeler vehicles, case of four wheel vehicles uh, we are going for a balancing and wheel alignment so this that is a need to avoid the skidding of the vehicle excessive skidding of the vehicle to control the uh, proper steering of the vehicle so this is a need for balancing and wheel alignment so as far as concerned for the general applications of balancing it will avoid the excessive uh, friction it will avoid uh, vibration excessive vibrations if the wheels are properly balanced it will maintain the system in a quiet operation position. So these are the various advantages of balancing. So here I want to note that the wheel is attached. Okay. So this wheel will start to rotate. This wheel will start to rotate as I will uh, input the command from this small keyboard. Okay. When it will rotate, here is the brake pattern is provided. So which will stop that wheel. Which will stop that wheel. And once we will stop that wheel, we will come to know that what kind of masses what kind of mass is balancing mass that is to be added inside that particular wheel so these are the masses which are in the terms of gram okay so inside the wheel we can attach that masses or also outside the wheel also we can attach that masses that depend upon the condition so let us come to the uh, actual working of this balancing of wheel okay. so here you can observe the car position is there initially i have set to the car position so I will enter to the car position. So here we can observe the position tracking. Here is you can observe the position tracking. So first condition I need to determine the dimensions of the wheel. It might be in the terms of meter, it might be in the terms of inches, okay, or it might be in terms of centimeter. We can set as, as per that. Okay. So here you can observe friends. Okay. So here initial condition it is showing that outside the wheel here is the inside wheel condition and here is the outside wheel condition so outside the uh, inside the wheel we need to adjust 10 gram and outside the wheel we need to adjust 85 gram okay so this is the balancing condition when i will rotate this wheel you will come to know now the system will start to rotate and once the wheel is rotated, you can see that 10 gram inside and 85 gram inside. So I will attach such kind of weight to that wheel. Okay. So this was the whole conditions. Now I will uh, I would like to show you the dimensions of wheel. How we can going to adjust the dimensions of that wheel. Okay. So dear friends, here you can observe dimensions. Here is the uh, total height that will be in the terms of inch. Total height of that wheel and total width of that wheel so 4.9 inch and total height is around 12.4 inch okay so this is what the whole condition of the balancing by attaching the extra masses the whole system can be balanced and because of that vibration will be reduced and the operation will be quite simple or we can say that noise free operation okay i hope you have understood this experiment